So for you, this creation began back in 1991, and I know that's a while ago, but I'm hoping you can remember for us the scene or the image that launched the series, A Song of Ice and Fire. It was the, it was the first chapter of uh, the novel Game of Thrones, not, not the prologue, which uh, actually appears first. I wrote that later, but it was the, uh, the chapter where they uh, brand viewpoint and they ride out to see the, the deserter beheaded and then they find the dire wolf pups in, uh, in the summer snow. I was actually, uh, it was the summer of 1991, and I was mo working, it was sort of the middle of my Hollywood decade. Uh, <laughs> I was doing a lot of development and pilot scripts and feature scripts, and, uh, but I had no particular assignment that summer, so I returned to my home in New Mexico and said, well, I might as well start work on this novel that I've been thinking of for like 10 years, a science fiction novel set in my established future history, and uh, I was writing that and moving along well, and suddenly this scene came to me. I, I didn't know what it was. I knew it wasn't part of the novel that I was writing. Um, it was obviously a fantasy, a medieval fantasy, not a futuristic science fiction thing. But it came to me so vividly and so strongly that I just felt compelled that I had to write it. So I put aside what I was doing and I wrote that chapter and that chapter led to another chapter and that chapter led to another chapter and, you know, at a and certain... And a few more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not all there in the summer of 1991. But I knew I was doomed when I drew the map. And then, <laughs> then, uh, then uh -huh. you had to take it seriously. So I drew a map and, and uh, but then the Hollywood thing kicked up again. So I actually wound up putting it in a drawer for a few years and returned and did another pilot and, you know, did another screenplay. And it was all that time that I was working on other projects in Hollywood. I couldn't get uh, this, this world or these characters out of my head. I was being haunted by Bran and Arya and Tyrion. And finally, uh, I, a couple years later, I returned to it and, uh, wrote some more pages and said to my agent, why don't you see if you can sell this? And thankfully we did. You certainly did. And you know, you mentioned chapters, you mentioned pages, but when did it change, George, from being a novel to I think there was an idea that it would be a trilogy to now these seven, or you know, we've got five, we're anticipating <laughs> seven, um, massive epic volumes. It, it, well, it, it wasn't a novel for very long, I, but even by the time I sold it, it was a trilogy. We, we sold the first series as a trilogy. I had about, I think, 200 pages that I gave to my uh, agent, and I, I think I attached a, a two-page uh, projection of what the rest of the story would be, because uh, I don't write, like writing outlines. I have never liked writing outlines, so I wasn't going to do a big formal outline of the other three books, but it was going to be three books, uh, Game of Thrones, uh, a Dance with Dragons, The Winds of Winter. Those were your three original titles. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, somehow A Dance with Dragons kept receding in the distance as I, you know, <laughs> I, I, I began working on Game of Thrones and it got longer and longer. My original projection was three books of about 800 manuscript pages each, which was long. I mean, my preceding novels, things like Fever Ream and The Armageddon Rag, had been about 500. 550 pages of manuscript. So an 800-page manuscript was was a long book, and fantasies were traditionally longer than uh, science fiction books or horror books. So I thought that would do it. And when I'm writing the first one, uh, you know, I, I hit 800 pages, and the no end was in sight. <laughs> I hit 900 pages, and no end was in sight. I hit 1,000 pages, and no end was in sight. And by the time I hit like 1,400 pages, and still no end was in sight, I said, Maybe it's four books. <laughs> <laughs> so I suddenly Clash of Kings was born, and uh, I I juggled with the structure a little. I moved some of the chapters I'd already written, and I delivered a, basically an 1,100-page manuscript that became Game of Thrones, and I had a 300-page head start on Clash of Kings. <laughs> you were ahead of the game. And uh, yeah, at a certain point, though, I realized, well, four books. Four books is not going to be four books. It's going to be six books. I said six for a long time. I skipped right over five. I didn't <laughs> never never fool around with five. I, I started saying it would be six books. And uh, Paris, my wife, who was who was then my girlfriend, would attend these things with me, and people would ask me how long the series going to be, and I would say six books. And behind me, she would be holding up seven fingers. <laughs> <laughs> she knew better than I did uh, ahead of time. Mm -hmm. So uh, now I'm saying seven books, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Well, we will believe you for now. Okay. For now. 